In today's video, we're playing around with a commercially available bouncy ball powder. The idea is you just add water and it turns to a hard bouncing rubber. We want to test that out and see what we can do with it. Hey guys, the TKOR monthly kit subscription is live. The first kit has been revealed, so hit the link in the description to go check it out and let's jump into today's video. Guys, I don't know if you've ever seen these before, but it's just a kit you can buy. It's got powders, you add them into the specially formed little molds, put them in water, and what do you get? Bouncy ball. You get a bouncy ball. It's not even really a powder, it's more like coarse sugar almost. So first step, I think let's just try making one of those as it's supposed to be, test that out. Here's our mold. We start out by just pouring powder into it. You can alternate colors if you want a sort of psychedelic or even glow bouncy ball. And then you put it in water and that's supposed to be most of the steps right there. Are you right telling there. me I could make a bouncy ball glow up? I am. <laughs> Here's the basic idea. We've got quite a bit of this bouncy ball material and we want to see if we can break the mold. Come up with some ideas and uses for this stuff that it wasn't originally intended for. The idea is to fill it up to the funnel, but, but not, not into the, the funnel. funnel. Uh, I made these about 20 years ago when I was a kid, and I remember the kits being exactly the same. You fill up the mold, you put it in some water, you make a bouncy ball. So here we have some slightly warm water, and we're just going to lower the mold down to that, and then we're going to leave it there for about 10 minutes. So here's something else I want to try. You're supposed to put this in the mold and let it sit there for 10 minutes, then you take it out and let it sit for 10 minutes before you finally yep. demold it. But I want to see what happens if we take the powder without a mold and just pour it into our warm water. All right. Ooh. Did it already is, solidify? It's kind oh. of, yeah, it feels kind of like jelly bath or something like Ew. that. Ew. You know, it actually feels a lot like that diaper stuff, but that's, okay, so that's weird. Uh, you know what it actually feels like is, uh, what was that stuff called? The magic sand, the stuff with the little beads in it? It was a slime and ooze. Slime with styrofoam yes. beads in it. It was so Flow. cool. Okay, it's breaking. It's very brittle right now. It's a little tricky, but it does seem to be free formable. We can sculpt and mold this a little bit. What are a couple of things that we can do with this sculptable, moldable gel? Guys, I want to know if we can make bouncy ball shoes. I want to know if they're going to help us bounce. Now, give me your shoe. Jane, give me your shoe. Give me your shoe. Just to see if it made any difference, I ran our water into the microwave for about 45 seconds to get it hotter. I'm just gonna let this sit in there for a bit and see if it changes at all. You made a knife hope. Ah, uh, I see that. <laughs> Look, the knife goes in it, the knife goes out. This kind of works actually. Like it's, okay. I can't do anything with it quickly because it will just tear, but if I'm yeah. just very slow to try and change the shape of it, like I'm flattening it out right now. Let's actually show that though because we keep talking about how it's tearing, but we're not showing that. Let me just like fold mine in half real quick. It doesn't want to stay together right now. I just want to see what happens, because before we put it in, we left it for a minute, and yeah. then we started playing with it. I want to take one and just see what happens. I pour it in, and then right away, start manipulating it and sure. see what that does. Wow, that goes fast. Holy cow. So So if you want to manipulate it, like, well, if you want more time, hold I, it I'm, just, I'm still trying to figure it out, because I think it's bonding together more with more time in the hot water, but whether or not it's like still more flexible, See if I take both of these and just soak them in hot water for a second. Pressing, oh, yep, and that's kind of sticking together. So it looks like a few seconds of soaking in hot water and you can easily bond pieces together. You can still pull it apart, but I think that'll work. So this is what hot water did? Yeah. It's funny, the stuff that we've had, like that we let sit in the warm water is much uh, smoother. The stuff that bonds quicker is not, so. I liked your idea with the shoes. Okay. Let's just try and use several packets like this. Yeah. My shoes are yours. I've already got one of my shoes off. I got very excited about this idea. All right, so. we're gonna try and use your shoes. All right. I think this has been in here for about 10 minutes. So we're actually gonna take this out and let it sit out of the container of water for about 10 more minutes before we demold it. <laughs> See, I think the soles of my shoe are gonna be thicker because I'm doing thicker stripes than the, the flatness that you've got going on there. We'll see which one gives you more bounce. It's gonna be great. Yeah, it doesn't want to stick at all, does it? I have really it kind don't. of wrapping around yeah. and gripping on. Oh, that works. Also, I think it's been long enough that we can try demolding our original little bouncy ball here. So mm -hmm. I'm just gonna pull that apart. Okay, I'm just gonna try and trim off this portion here. This is weird to cut through. It's sort of like grainy, Gum. soft, gummy, yeah. 
That's sort of a octagonal bouncy ball shape. See how bouncy this ball is. Oh, congratulations, you made a bouncy ball. It's bouncing. Also, my shoes are now soaking wet as we do this. This is gonna be great. Callie's got her brand new soles on her shoes. Callie, how are you feeling about those? Bouncy, bouncy, fun, 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 fun. I'm actually thrilled. Uh, they're very heavy. I wasn't expecting that. They're jiggling. When I bounce them together, it feels like I have jello on my feet. So we ended up having just a little bit of this leftover sitting in the bowls and it just sat there for like 15, 20 minutes and it really seems to absorb a lot more water. I think one of the reasons you use the mold is it sort of limits how much water they can absorb because this now has gotten to a point where it's just like very squishy and uh, it's it's really not like a bouncy ball it's just you can see that like those grains have just kept absorbing water and it's really kind of turning into a slime that i can just mold around you can still sort of see the separation where the individual grains were before but it's, oh, it's really something expanded. different yeah it's expanded a lot and i actually want to put this back in the water and see how far that will go so I'm gonna put this back in some water, just leave it for another little while and see what it turns into. But it is interesting that it did get that soft and pliable. Let's uh, see your shoes. Let's try some, we're try gonna, some bouncing. We're gonna try some bouncing. First off, I wanna talk about aesthetics. Ah, um, yes, how great they are. Yeah, wonderful, beautiful. I, I really like looking down and seeing so many pretty colors. I do love the pattern, nine I, out of 10 I there. learned as I went. It wasn't so good up here at the very front. Mm -hmm. By the time I got to the heel, I think I had really got it. It's kind of gripping onto the heel quite a bit go. more. I didn't have that problem from the get go. This is every 80s kid's dream right here. All right, ready for this bounce? Oh yeah, I, you should. You better be hitting the ceiling. I, I, oh, oh, okay, should I get a helmet? Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Do you feel bouncier <laughs> in your soul? I stuck to the floor. It was negative bounce. I'm, Holds you there. I'm, I'm just sticking to the ground, guys. All right, I do wanna, I think we should at least try outside okay, wait, on some that? concrete. It's gonna be a harder surface. <laughs> yeah. So we won't have to, it won't be the floor, it'll be actually the, the soles. Let's still just go outside and see okay. how they do. So I had thought that like, Uggs were terrible shoes and Crocs were bad shoes, but if Crocs and Uggs had babies, they would be these. Croc Ugg dials? Croc Ugg dials. <sighs> I'm wearing Croc Ugg dials. Here we go, okay. Does it feel extra bouncy? This is negative bounce. I'm just sort of shaking in place. Yeah. I didn't bounce. No. Did you bounce? Just a little springy. I think there's just too much weight for it to be doing anything. As it is, these shoes have a, you know, shoes have rubber bottoms. Do I have a basketball? Can I do a sick dunk? Can you? <laughs> No. Really good jumper, huh? <laughs> they are making things so much worse in my life. <laughs> oh dear. So not super grippy. Not really durable. Not as bouncy as I want them to be. I, I'm not thrilled that I can just sort of moonwalk away my soul. Don't you moonwalk away from me. Do not moonwalk away from me. Do not. It's not really grippy. You slip, they fall apart. And they're kind of destroying any sort of like any bounce you would get, they kind of absorb. So what you're saying is that you highly recommend them to sports professionals everywhere. Yes. That's the message I'm getting. Well, if it's me again to them, I want the sports professionals wearing these, so I stand somewhat of a chance. But I think if there's less weight involved, like if it's just a shoe. Mm, I'm not convinced. I need more height. Um, we're gonna test the bounciness when I'm not in them and from a greater height. This seems like the best way to do it, by standing on a roof. Seems kind of bouncy. A, li a little. Let's try this one. <laughs> that landed right on the sole. <laughs> I think that's about flopped. as good as you could get. It just flopped. There's really not a lot of bounce to these guys. As a bouncy ball, great idea. For a bouncy shoe concept, not so great. How did your shoe soles end up? I, I'm gonna go ahead and say that the Croc Ugg dials do not pass. Not super bouncy. Not really bouncy. And if, uh, so we've now peeled them, at least mostly, off of the soles. You can see where I slid through one. Great. Here's this thing, I left it soaking for like another 20, 30 minutes. <laughs> it's about the same. 
You can still sort of see the individual grains, but it really has absorbed a lot of water in it. Here's my thought. We still have a decent amount of this stuff left. I want to see what we can make with it that's uh, a little unusual. We should build a better rubber chicken. This mold is not the same as the molds that comes with this kit. Like those, those for the bouncy balls, they have little holes all through and it's not a large volume. So we don't know what having this much of the powder together is gonna do. Uh, we left it soaking a little longer than we meant to, but then we also let it sit out for quite a while to try and let it dry again. Should we try and demold it? I think so. All right. We're at that point. Actually releasing oh, from the chicken pretty well. It is, we still have a couple of dry spots, oh, which yeah. we thought we might. Powder. Just straight powder pouring out here. Okay, that side actually came out pretty nice. That yeah, leg, little bits, didn't in, quite make it, but we're pretty in close some there. Some of the, the, yeah, the recesses where it would have had to flow the most awkwardly. Drumstick is wrapped around the mold. I feel yep. quite different. Oh, oh boy. Ha! Yeah, the the legs didn't want to form all of the way, but we still have some drumsticks here. It's just that's a giant drying rubber going on at the knees. Ooh, wow! Wow! Blacklight really brings out these colors. Uh, do you think it's bouncy? There are many ways to find out. Most of them involve bouncing it, don't they? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> kind of bouncing. I broke all, a piece off. All of the dry powder, <laughs> not just the stuff we've stuck on, but all the stuff that didn't quite absorb enough water. It's that, just yeah. breaking and falling off. Let's do more tests outside. We could just drop it on the concrete, but I have a feeling, given the fact that it does look like it's turning out to be kind of hollow, and we already know that this stuff isn't going to be the strongest, we're going to get one. break. Yeah, but I want one really good bounce out of this. Do you want to stand on that miniature roof again, or do you want to get somewhere higher up? Higher. Okay, we're going to go for a second story window. Still just shaking out the, the middle of this chicken. It is, it feels about the same weight as an actual roast chicken. Five pounds, I guess. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, throw down your chicken. Yeah. Ready? Three, two, one. Survived. It kind of bounced. Sort of. I think I was able to see it just like flatten out <laughs> as it hit down. Oh, very, uh, very oh, open no. on both sides now. Oh no, toss it back up. We're gonna try this again. I'm gonna throw it with force this time. We're gonna attempt to break our chicken. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> some parts of this rubber are really rigid and some parts of it are super squishy and sticky. We do not have a nice consistent well, consistency all the way through. This over here is just almost brittle. This over here is just goop. I would say that's bouncier than a normal chicken, like an actual chicken. It's a decent bounce. Well, you broke off a drumstick. Yeah. Now I broke off a drumstick. No! Even I don't want to eat that. <laughs> Pretty bouncy drumstick. Are you trying to do the moonwalk badly? I'm trying to do the Nick Miller moonwalk, which is completely incorrect. It's like this then. Yeah, that's basically what he does. 